Hey everyone, welcome back to Opimation. And for those who are new to the channel, my name is OP. I'm an animator in the video games industry. And in today's video, we'll be checking out the Seamus rig and reviewing it. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. Uh, if, you, if you're interested in this rig, you can get it from Gumroad. And you can put a donation in and just download this. Now, when you download this, remember, you're gonna get, when you open it up, you're going to get this folder here. So you click that and then the rig won't work unless you put these plugins in. So in regards to which Maya you have, so a 2019, for example, my one. And then what you do is you just copy these and then you go into your programs, C, program files, Autodex, Maya, bin, plugins. And in here, you just paste those two files that have come with the rig. Is it me or are those shoulders a bit bigger? I think those shoulders are a bit bigger. Let me pause and re reset this. Ah, I see what I did. So I went here and I just zeroed out. I zeroed the morph. It was actually on 0 0.32. So you took a 0 0.32. So you see that. So I just zeroed that out. It happens. Okay, so that's that's those controls. That's just the root. I believe that is the root as well. But this one is the overall. So that root is under that. And that's where you have your bind pose and aligning. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. And then you have your standard foot. Stretch. Slide twist. And you can move that. Snap to hip. You have all the IKFKs here. That's fine. What's this one? This is the roll. Let's check these out. What's this? Slide. Oh, right. So that's what. So these are controlling the actual limbs. Okay, that's cool. So there's a lot of control here. Twisting, the leg twist. Okay, that's cool. So if we move this down, we can see it more clearly. If we come here, there, yeah, you've got your leg twist there. But you also have it here, you see, this is your pole vectors. So regarding how you work, you can use these, the seams. I think this has more controls with it, roll weight. So we can check that out. So if we move it down and if we twist, and we add some twist to it. You can add some stretch to it there. Slide IKFK. So we put that to one. You've got FK there. You've got your normal FK controls. So you can start rotating. That's fine too. Works well. So standard legs, really, I think starting off all you'll need is this and these slides. You've got your slide controls here. Yeah. And your roll, roll weights. So you just really need these. Then you can rotate that. And then I think there's a controller here, which is for the toes. Yeah, which is for the toes. So you can move this up, rotate this. Then you can, you got the toe control here. So that's pretty cool. It's good stuff there. So is there anything else for the foot? I think that's always for the foot. You've got your pole vectors here, which is fine. And then moving up, you have these plate controls which I think are really cool. You can add that little bit of more detail, which makes your character more believable. A couple of those here, which is quite simple. Very nice. And then moving up, we have these nice mechanical ones, which are really cool. You can add more, really much more. You can translate. I think you'll be rotating. Add Again, adding little details, cool stuff. Then we have the hip. This is the cog, 
the control layer, right? That's the main area of the spine. And then we've got this out. This is the main area. And then we've got the inner one here. Right? So this is like independent. You can move the hips. You see that IK spine there. Oh. And then these are the spine. Yeah, you've got the IK spine. Moving up here is the same. You can rotate. And then you can change here to FK spine by selecting the selecting the root. Selecting the root there. And then at the back, that's it. So the controls at the back for the FK spine, which is cool. I like the fact the arms are staying where they are is always nice. I'm sure there's a control for their head so it can be independent or inherent the inherent uh, rotation on that Go global so let me try this go back here to the spine All right, can't find the independent movement for the head. Neck local, global. Let's try this. So if we rotate. Yeah, that's it. So you go select, select the globals on, then you can see the head is, is independent which I kind of like more because then you don't have to keep counter animating which is good so you want to just put those neck heads at global put them back to zero so that's cool you got that there so all in all it, it looks it's detailed rig but I like it I like uh, so far and then you've got these controls here for the flaps I like all these little controls for the details so when it comes to polishing you can really go in and do a polish pass. These controls on the chest are the show. Was it shoulder? Oh, that's nice. That's actually a good place to put them. You know, you've got them there. Two of those there. That's brilliant. Yeah. And then you have here. This is the head. So the square area. What's underneath? That's the neck. Okay. The next controls a bit hidden, but that's because you can still get to it. Then you've got what? This is the top. So this is probably the helmet control. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. So this one, what you got controls here? You can turn it off. Nice. Turn it off and on. And then you've got different areas where you can put, so you can put in the right hand, left hand, and the head. Okay, just in case you want it off. Nice, very nice. Yeah, very good. And then let's move on to, these are the actual shoulder armor. So underneath the armor, we have, so at the moment, I think this is IK. Yeah, this is IK. Okay, so we've got basically two controls here. That control, translate and rotate. And then we have these, the, uh, we have these controls here, which are, you can translate these on all of them. Again, for animating detail, really cool. Locally, you can translate those, which is cool. And you have, let's check out the arm. So you have your pole vector here in IK. And then obviously you have the IK handle there. Now, normally around the arm, we have an IK, FK, there it is. I mean, let's do that to one. Spread of the leg, of the fingers, sorry. <laughs> Roll of the legs, <laughs> sorry. 
Um, what we've got here. Yeah. So we've got a control which is here. So you can easily get that control. It's not too hidden away, which is good because you don't want one right underneath there. Elbow, fine. Again, you have controls for the little details of the little light blaster things. The hand controls we can see here. IK to FK, IK to FK, you've got little controls there. Individual ones here for rotating. That's fine. And then you have these little, what are these? You've got a few of these plates. Oh, you can change, oh, you can change the arm there to IK to FK and the fingers. As you can see there, change it right. So it's very detailed all the way down to the, to the tips. You can change that. And on the other side, now it's a bit different. You've got pole vector, yeah. And then you've got this arrow here where let's switch this to FK. So again, you can rotate here, rotate here. Let's check out this arrow here. Rotate barrel. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. So you can do an animation there. That's pretty cool. So if we key here, we'll key out. Oh, how much does it go to? That much? Let's see this. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, we can delete those keys. Just trying to have a bit of fun there. Very nice little details there. So the gun's warming up. Again, IKFK, translate. You can move it. Yes, that's cool. Little reload. What are these flaps? Another nice detail. Charging up when it shoots. Pew, pew. In your, that's really good. You can have a lot of fun with this rig, the way it looks. At the bottom, there's an arrow at the bottom. Again, IK. And then you have your flap control. So it's a simp it's simple controls around it. It's nothing too complicated, which is nice. Elbow control with the pipes moving, which is nice. Nicely skinned there. It's really good. I like these little clusters of controls you got here. Again, for polishing, you can add all these little details, but just add so much more to your believability of your character, you know, with all the character, the suit, interacting with the environment that's the kind of stuff that really sells at the end you know you can do your you do your basic body mechanics make sure that's all working first and then you add all these little details again here we come here talking about details you know spinning translating okay probably spinning these spinning like a vortex oh nice ones little subtle movements there you could put in you might want to just rotate those instead of translate, but you may need to translate. You never know, you know. Can't write it all off. Uh, yeah, so I, I, the, to be honest, it, it looks complicated, but it's not. It, uh, when you go through it, it's quite a nice, simple, simple rig. And it's. I think it was very easy to use when I was doing the posing, the game posing for it. And I really enjoyed, enjoyed doing it. So I'm going to be doing some runs and jumps with this to test it out and I think I, I think I will enjoy it from the experience I had with the idol. Uh, it's very, very good. Uh, what, what else? There was something else here. Yeah, there was these. I think these are controlling, yeah, the metal ones here. So these control here. So these are more for if the arm kind of inter intersects the area, then you've got control to kind of move it. But then you would just animate to there anyway. So little details like that. So overall, overall, this rig is really, really good. I think I think the review that I've done on it, I think it feels really good. I've used it. Uh, it's easy to use. Uh, you can get the model is brilliant. You can get nice, good poses with it. Uh, this the the controls are there. Very simple. You know, everything standard. And uh, yeah, it's a good rig to start with. I would highly recommend it. 
let's see what this does. There's a morph. So let's see. Okay, let's see this. What's this? So I'm pressing control and sliding with my middle finger. Ah, oh, so it goes into a lip and if you press shift, it does it quicker. Control does it slower, yeah. Just you're just moving the mouse left to right, pressing the middle button. That's really cool. So it morphs into one of these, a ball, and the controls are great. Look, you've got a control for you could use this for separate axes. Can you can you rotate? Yeah, you could rotate use one to rotate one way, select the other one to rotate the other. So that's really cool. So you could do a nice transitioning uh, animation for that, which is cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna undo that. I would, uh, after doing my first pose with it, I found it quite easy. But overall, yeah, it's a fun, fun rig. Having just experienced, experimented with it a little bit, I really enjoyed it. Hey friends, thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. But in the meantime, happy animating and most importantly, have fun when you're animating. Catch you later.